Why do you always bring me back here? Me? I just met you. I don't even know who you are. Let's play Coming Back. Hello and welcome to Hula Noob Plays Short Indie Horror Games. And today I'm going to play a short retro horror game developed by Ben Leggett. Where you awaken late at night, you're safe at home, but something is wrong. So obviously you're not safe at home. I mean, come on, Ben. You know. <laughs> so yeah, this is a browser game. I will put the link in the liner notes. So you can play it yourself and you don't even have to download it. Oh my god, what a dream. So let's dive right in. You awaken late at night, you're safe at home. Again, that's obviously a lie. Yet. Um, okay, it's direction. Uh -huh. A framed photo from our honeymoon hangs above the bed. We were so happy here. Well, where's our lady? I put this picture away in the drawer. How did it get back up here? Did something happen to my partner? Hmm. Full of Lisa's clothes. I can still smell her perfume on them. Oh, my cat is, is named Lisa. That will be... <laughs> okay. Nice enough uh, and easy enough controls. One of Lisa's old books is lying out. Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. It's locked. Where did I leave that key? Where indeed? Oh, you mean the giant key that's bigger than our head? <laughs> Got the stair key. <laughs> Why would you close the door to the stairs in your own house? That's super weird. Why even have a door to the stairs? Who has a house like this? You unlocked it. Oh, it's thunder. Okay, so it's raining outside. It's pitch black, but you can hear a storm raging outside. Yeah. Dip, dip, dip. The kitchen door is locked. Why do I lock my doors of the room? Also, how? There's the window outside, and then there's the kitchen. Is the kitchen like a small little room just jutting out of the wall of the building? Hmm. A religious painting hangs above the sofa. Okay. I'm outside now? What is this place? How did I get to the... Is this supposed to be blurry? I... I just figure it is. Or maybe not? Shit. A shallow grave. How <laughs> did <just> do it? <laughs> Is this supposed to be so blurry? Oh. Probably. That f that feels like yes. I can't. Oh no! Ew! No! It's a p no. <laughs> I thought it was a giant dong, but it's just a creepy ghost. Oh my god! This is good. I like it. Is that Lisa? Game over? Press R to reload? Wait, but how? I don't know if, if this is... Uh, got the kitchen key. Okay. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. Hurry, hurl your... Oh. Okay. Do I make it this time? Wow, that was tense. Lock. Is someone scratching the other side? I don't want to know. Let's just stay inside. So there's the religious... Oh yeah, I see. A person with a cross. Okay, and now let's go to the kitchen that we locked up for whatever reason. Lisa's diary is lying open on the cabinet. Yeah, I always write my diary in the kitchen. It's the perfect place. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, uh, fuck. Wait. There we go. Where would I go anyway? I've built a life here. I know he has problems, but he's getting help and I know he loves me. 
Okay, it's ominous. A disturbing painting of a long woman with children. <laughs> Shaming tall people. I don't know. Is that really... Is it so disturbing if a woman is just tall? When did I hang this? Yeah, I think it's the... It's the... So it's a woman monster. A female mo a monstrous that followed us. And I think the t small dots are the, the children. Hasn't been used in ages. Lisa was the cook between us. I mean, you could just come on. You can make like a can of soup or whatever. What's that? Is that a water boiler? Oh no. There's a damaged book in the drawer. Baby names for 20. Oh god. Is it a. A washing machine, the drum won't turn. The knife must be jamming the mechanism. What, wait, the, why are you saying it like, oh yeah, the knife, that's just, just there. Wait, did you kill your wife? W wait a minute, wait a minute. This isn't my basement. No, it's the woods where you probably buried your wife after you killed her. Back here again. Why do you always bring me back here? Me? I just met you. I don't even know who you are. Is that an eye? Or is that a boob? I can never go back. Can I, Lisa? It's probably an eye and not, you know, gigantic nipples following us. <laughs> it was your fault, not mine. You know how angry I get. Oh no! What did you do? But you kept pushing and pushing like you always did. That doesn't excuse killing. So why? Why can't I stop coming back here? Because of what you did. It doesn't matter anymore. You'll never stop bringing me here. I can't do this anymore, Lisa. I don't want to come back here. You choose to come here. You always have a choice, Trevor. I killed her with a gun? Whoa! No! I didn't want to kill her. Okay, so um, this was super short. For me, it was a bit too short. I think I, I previously played a, a, a similar, not a similar game, it was a completely different type of game, but um, where the story in itself was kind of interesting, but then it was like, bap, 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 done. And you need to, you know, ease a little bit into it, especially when you have a story like this. So what, we wanted to have children, but we, I don't know, did we have children or not? And then Trevor had mental problems, and then he killed his wife. Usually, also, by the way, mental problems are not an excuse for killing your wife, you know. Just also as a storytelling thing, you don't have to get mental problems into it, you know. You can just have a weird or angry dude. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Uh, the story of someone killing their, their partner, their spouse, and then being haunted. It's just, you know, it's kind of repetitive. But what I did like, so, what I did like, I like the style of this. It played well. I like the look. I like the spooks where we got followed. That was really cool. But I thought, here's the thing. I thought the, the spooks in the middle of the game were more effective than the ending of the game because I could anticipate like as soon as you see a gun and you hear something about a wife you know where it's heading surprise me you know try something else um, or have some other version of the creature following us you know after we shoot the wife maybe have something else happening because the shooting that's the part that's to be um expected and then we need something to change it up that being said though it was a cool neat little game so all in all it was a really good game for me it was not like i i loved it until the part where i realized oh he killed his wife hmm. Thank you for putting in the work for creating Coming Back. Um, and that, yeah, again, that little spook in the middle, that was really good. That, I really enjoyed that. So, yeah, that was so short. But um, 
I will keep it at that. If you like this, you can like this. How did you like the game? Maybe you completely disagree with my opinion of the game and you think, no, no, this is not a, this is not a trope. You know, this is really done well. Tell me in the comments. Tell me why you think this game is better than I made it out to be. <laughs> and again, I, I enjoyed this, but the story was, no, I, I want more. <laughs> and also you can subscribe to my channel if you want to, because I, I play a lot of indie horror games. Um, and sometimes also longer horror games and sometimes even AAA games. Like currently I am playing Control, which I enjoy a little bit too much, to be quite honest. <laughs> so if that's your jam, then subscribe. And I promise you, I will not haunt you if you shoot me because I don't believe in ghosts. So I don't think I would turn into one. Is that how it works? I think it is. So I hope you had a good time and uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and maybe see you soon. Bye bye bye. This is my self recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews and let's plays.